Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. You know, you're already part of the what? Grateful gang, 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 grateful gang, 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 grateful gang, 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 grateful gang, 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 gang. And if you're not a part of Grateful Gang, we'd love to have you over here. Over here, we do digital budgeting as well as um, paycheck to paycheck budgets. We do credit card reconciliations. We do paycheck closeouts, um, expense tracking, all of that. If any of that um, interests you, then please hit the subscribe button or at least give us a like. And if you don't have time to write a foot on comment, just leave me an emoji. I take anything. Okay, thank you. It is free 99. It costs you nothing. So today's video, we'll be getting into closing out our paycheck number one of June because paycheck number two has come. So let's get right into it. Let me make myself small. Here we go. Here's paycheck number one in June 6th to June 15th. So uh, everything that's in green we know has come off and has cleared the account. Everything in blue is automatic, and if it's still blue, it, we haven't accounted for it yet, and this we haven't accounted for yet. So let's go through our transactions. These would have been moving money that we already knew about. So first thing, one, two, what is this, paying the credit card? Yes. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five of these are all to pay the credit card. You see, I leave myself notes because... I'm not so good at the remembering. Okay, so let's get our, oh, let me get my calculator up. And we're going to just add that all up together. So 187.73 plus 862, that ain't it, <laughs> 862 plus 201.51 plus 121.68 plus 2158 is a total of 541.12. So... Uh, we had moved then $541.12, so it's $541.12. We moved in, we transferred in, and then we paid on the credit card. So, where's my credit card? Had one credit card. So, here we'll put the five, what was the amount? $541.12. $541.12 here, and we'll mark that as green because it has cleared the account. All of these together. Now, here's a dollar that we sent to Navy Federal that we show has cleared the account also. Next charge is the payment, 541.12. There it is, 541.12. I could have just looked up here. Then 101.41 was our T-Mobile bill, and we had already said that it was paid. Then we have $30 that, okay, so my... Um, cable bill, I, know, I don't know if I'm... I'm pretty sure I shared with you guys that I've been going back and forth with them. They've been having to credit me, having to credit me, having to credit me because they claim they don't have any promotions and this and that. So I finally got them and it was like the last day they couldn't credit me. So I ended up being charged like 140 something. I'm sure we'll see it at the top. And thank God for my build a buffer account. I had to move money over from my build a buffer account to cover those charges, which is why I'm always glad it's there. So you're going to see me move money, I think, twice to cover the. No, that was my. There's another one, I think, somewhere. So there's $30 here. It says covering the cable bill. So that is what happened. I moved it out of my build a buffer account, which is just basically my buffer. So I'm going to, from that account, I moved $30. I don't know I added those zeros in there. And that will cause that's what is the $30 here. Then 9072 was for my trash bill. And there it is. We already knew that got paid. Then we had 11111 is the car insurance bill, which we knew got paid. Then I actually moved. I'm not even gonna add these. Well, maybe I should. I put $22 and to I took it out of my birthday fund, I believe. And sent my nephew turned 22, <laughs> and I sent to 22 um, dollars and plus 22, and we're gonna take out 22. Uh, comment. That's not a comment. Note. <laughs> Okay, that was birthday money. And now that I know he has Zell, I think I want to send him money here and there because he's, he's doing so well in his life. And then, so that's in and out to his birthday. And then we have $34 
and nine cents. Mm, what's that for? Cover the cable bill. See, there's again. So I added another $34.09 because I thought I miscalculated. So $34.09. So I figured I let me let me let me send it over in case I didn't, but I think I sent more than enough, more money. Because let me let's calculate and see how much I owe my builder buffer. So the bill, the money we had in there was, I believe, $90. Okay. And then the bill was actually, as you can see right here, $144.09. So minus $144.09. We we needed $54.09. But I spent I sent over $30 and then I sent $34.09. So minus 5409, I actually owe Build Your Buffer $10. So I'm going to send back $10 to Build Your Buffer, okay? So this $10 needs to go back to my Buffer account. To go back to Build a Buffer. I figured better be safe than sorry. I'm going to make it green because I'm actually going to do it right now. <laughs> so I'm going to transfer <clears throat> from here to my build a buffer account $10 back. myself no I oversent money for the cable bill success so we did that wonderful so let's get back to where we were so the 14409 was the actual cable bill amount so 14409 goes here and then we'll make it green and you know they had the nerve to like charge me a late fee on this bill although my account is on automatic payment I was like, squeeze me? Y'all need to give me my money back. <laughs> I think it was like a $10 late fee, but I was like, that doesn't matter. My thing is an automatic payment. Why didn't it automatically come out? So I think I'm supposed to see a credit next bill or something like that. So then we have, what is this, Lord? Oh, pay credit card. So then I reconcile my credit card again. And the total for that one included a lot of things for the house and also a few things and getting my hair done and all that, which is holding up pretty well. I'm gonna try a few things with it probably this weekend while it's like on its last leg and heading out. It's when I like to experiment. So it was 621.68. So out of all the accounts I had transferred, 621.68 to cover everything. And then I paid to the credit card another 621.28. Six twenty one sixty eight. Why am I saying twenty eight? A lot of money. <laughs> okay, and then um, then we have our water forty eighteen that came out. Woohoo! And now we don't have anything in green. So what is this? Oh yes, but we'll handle this on the next check because that that'll be a part of the next check. So everything is in green here, y'all. So we paid for every single thing that we said we were going to pay for and overpaying freaking over budget. That's so annoying. But that's the good thing about having, that is a great thing about having a buffer account. When things like that happen, I'm able to pull out of there. Now I think I, I've had 250. Now I think I have 200, which I kind of want to build that buffer back up to 250 because things happen. But right now 200, I'm still pretty comfortable with having that in there. Um, and so it says that we have $33.12 left in, um, well, here it says $43.12, which makes sense because we did have that $10. So we did initially have $43.12. So we had the right amount after this last transaction. I moved the $10. So now all we have is $33.12. Now I did ask you guys where I should put the extra $20 and you guys all were, the majority of you said to go ahead and put it in the humble home account. So that is what I'm going to do. 
but that still leaves us with a little extra money. So 3312 minus 20 will leave us with 1312. Duh, Tara, you are a math major. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and transfer the $20 because I am working on my home right now. That is my objective. I learned that fancy word from my girl, Ella at um, Finance Bureau or Hierarchy Finance Bureau today on Tasha's Mind Your Money Live. Um, if I remember, I'll leave a link to that live. And my humble home, not my humble home, yes, my humble home is going to get $20. Thank you for all who commented below letting in the comments, letting me know which one to put the money to because uh, that is my objective. That and saving both were fine. So this is just going to the my humble home account transfer and it still work out success it still works out because i'm also going to send so let me put that i sent 20 well my humble home has a category so 20 dollars there let's take that out here and we'll make that green that's probably my bank saying you just lose money or no that's a little photo i don't know and then so let me take this out of here what do we actually have left should be $13.12. And the $13.12 we're going to put to our savings, to our um, emergency fund. So every little bit counts, you guys. It doesn't matter if it's $5, five cents, $1, $10, or $100. If you can move it there, move it there, okay? <laughs> um, this is going to the emergency fund transfer $13.12 success. So that went to the disrespect of it all. Where am I now? Where? Now everything is green. I can't find where I'm at. <laughs> Come on, here we go. Thirteen dollars and twelve cents, and now we have a zero based budget. I'm gonna make this green, and there you have it, guys. And as you can see, there's money in my account, so I got paid. So zero based budget, and everything is in paid for this pay period and cleared for this pay period. Um, I will be back to allocate out our paycheck number two. It is a three paycheck month and I'm going to try. Although I just keep rolling, I'm going to try and see if I can find, not use the extra money on putting other things ahead because I always do that. I actually think I need to purchase a few things and I started to make a list here. So let me show you while I'm thinking about it. Things I need or like, which I'd like to do with our extra check this personal panty letters. I want to get my car washed and see how much a monthly membership to wash it is because it's getting to be hot and my car, I don't want it to be dirty. And uh, stock up on meat. I My fridge has like nothing. Avocado oil, jasmine rice, I need to buy more water, lotion, body wash, deodorant, mouthwash, toothpaste. I would like to order some things from Timu on a 50 to $75 budget. That's like a want, a, a want, not really a need. And then I would like to put about $35 to $40 to do a, a solo date for myself. So those are some things I'd like to be able to do with my last extra paycheck, but I still have bills coming in on that paycheck, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, but you all, that was a lot of oversharing, but that, that's where I'm at with it. And that's the end of this video. Um, please, like I said, if you like the video, don't get, forget to give it a thumbs up. If you can comment and talk to me, y'all know I'll talk back all the time. If you don't have time to comment and you listen and you like it, drop me a heart emoji, any emoji you got time for. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. I'm super duper grateful for you. And it is faith over fear this year, but not just this year, but what? Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, 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 Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-